folks. Sean here once again with the latest edition of Beer Snobby Goodness, and this will be the latest installment in my, what I'm beginning to think is ever-increasing pumpkin beer series. Uh, this is another new entry. This is compliments of my friend Rob, who, uh, with his wife Brandy and my buddies Mike and Kim, came down to the house yesterday, and uh, Rob brought down this offering. Anderson Valley Brewing Company's Fall Hornin Pumpkin Ale. This is, uh, did a little research. This one is actually a California-based brewing company. And apparently very politically correct, according to the bottle cap at least. It is a solar-powered company. Rock on. Wow. That's a dark ale. And I was originally going to go with my usual dogfish head snifter glass, but the website actually specifies pint glass, which, which to me, pint glass comes in this general shape. So, there it is. Anyway, not a whole lot on the bottle, as far as information goes, but there was a bunch of good stuff on the website. This is a deep copper hue. Yeah, I believe that. Got a creamy beige colored head. Check. This uh, includes caramel, caramel, caramelized malt, baking bread, highlights of cinnamon, nutmeg, pumpkin, and seasonal spices. Just a hint of hops. This um, utilizes pale two-row malts uh, in addition to Maris Otter, Munich, Crystal 120L, Dark Chocolate, ooh, and Pumpkin Puri. Uses Bravo hops. Clocks in at 6% alcohol content. Clocks in with a respectable aroma as well. Not the most robust one, but definitely not the weakest. So, I'm curious. Down the hatch. Hmm. You know, not too bad. Not the most robust flavor. Uh, but definitely not the weakest, and it remains consistent throughout. So, you know, it's, uh, I'd have to call it a, a classic, like, fall refresher. You know, if you're into the pumpkin flavor and the spices, but you don't want something too overpowering, might be the ticket. So, let's see, and this does, on the website, have some food pairings. Apparently this goes well with cranberry scones, roasted root vegetables, steak chili, and caramel flan. Flan? I don't know. And uh, if you're a cheese head, it goes well with brie or aged cheddar. Now for my money, I think it goes very well with grilled chicken and uh, mashed potatoes and stuffing, which is what I was consuming tonight. It uh, worked for me. Anyway. That'll do it for this edition. Um, I think at this point I now have at least two more beers to go in this series, if not three, because I either keep finding new things or people come to the house and bring me more stuff. That it, uh, it's just it, it's got to get the video treatment. So stay tuned. Till then, cheers.